Good morning guys, today is the day of the garden reveal. So I'm very, very excited. Um, we've got all our furniture and I'm really pleased with how it's looking. Obviously the garden is nowhere near finished. Um, it's like it's like a house, it's a constant work in progress um, and there's more to do, but I wanted to show you um, before and afters. So I'm gonna rewind now and you can see everything up until this point. And there's a few more little bits to do. I'm gonna style up the garden now because it's not quite ready. So I will show you in a second what it's looking like. So currently let's rewind back to what the garden was like when we bought the house. We've decided out here, this is our back garden, we've decided to split the two areas up a little bit just to give the garden a bit more depth. Um, so we've bought these terracotta pots today from B&Q, they were literally 15 pounds each. And we're gonna put these two buxus in them. These ones aren't looking too great. The plan is to get three more of each of these and then two more bigger ones. So we'll have two big ones here and then four either side. Um, and I wanna put them in pots rather than actually planting, just in case we wanna move it around, we decide we don't like it. Um, so yeah. since we painted the fence but I thought I would show you what it's currently looking like we ran out of paint so we only managed to do half the fence I say half the fence like one side of the fence <clears throat> and the color looks stark so I will warn you now the color looks stark but when our vision comes to life and we've got planters um, and flowers and things in front of it it's going to look amazing um, and I've shown my mum and she was like oh it's very white but it's going to look lovely so bear that in mind so this is what it's looking like and as you can see this is where the so the sun comes from this direction so this is always shaded so the best plants for here are the hydrangeas and that's going to look lovely we don't like this light so that's going to go at some point but because it is electric we need to seal up the bottom um make sure we don't get any problems with that peppy on her lawn looking lovely <laughs> she loves this um and it's just such a beautiful day the lavender is looking gorgeous and we've already had so much more bees in the garden which is lovely basil plant not looking too happy rosemary looking okay so we're going to get another pot of paint and do all the way along this back bit i don't think for now we're going to paint this bit only because I don't want to waste paint and this whole bit needs replacing at some point. I want to make it more sturdy like the rest of the fence because this actually blew down in um, one of the storms we had earlier in the year. And I don't know, I just think this could be a lot nicer, maybe brick or something. I think a brick wall there would look lovely um, and turn it into like a proper little English garden. I think it would look gorgeous. <laughs> Oh, I'm holding this one for you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was really, yeah? Right, guys, today has been spent putting up the lights, and I'm actually really pleased with how they look. It just gives a little bit more character to the back garden. Just a little update. We've just been to B&Q and bought some hydrangeas. So we have blue and white hydrangeas. They look lovely. This is where they're going to go. They like a bit of shade and this part is shaded. So hopefully they'll be very, very happy here. So I always 
few seed trays and some seeds as well to go in the garden. So I'm really excited about these. We have China Aster, which is a pale pink peony. We have white lavender, uh, hollyhock, uh, lupin, Shasta daisies. I love giant daisies. These are one of my favorite flowers. So I'm really excited about these. And then we also have a wildflower collection. There's more daisies in there, some poppies, foxgloves, um, I'm not sure what the yellow ones are. What are they? Cowslip and oxeye daisies. So, baby, it's not for you. It's not for you. <laughs> yeah, so you kind of just chop them off the top and well, just use the bit underneath. Yeah. Because to be fair, the grassy patches we could probably use for bits in the garden that aren't looking yeah. great or something. Anyway, Ben has managed to dig out the trench, but we now have this massive <laughs> clump of dirt in the garden. This is what it's looking like. So he's got to go in and churn it all up, rake it all up and try and make it as fine as possible so that these babies will be happy when they go in. I'm really, really happy with how they look. I think they look great. They need a good water today, maybe some plant food, and they should be really happy. These are the planters that Ben ordered from the local guy and what are you doing? You're just sealing varnishing them, them sealing yeah. them. So it is this wood stain high protection. Will it colour them? No. Shouldn't be, no, it's clear. Oh, it's clear? Yeah. So it's just going to protect them inside and out um, from the elements and just make sure that the wood lasts as long as it possibly can. But these are going to be for your vegetable patch, Plant aren't jelly. they? Huh? Plant jelly. I know, it's so weird. Ooh. <laughs> But these are going to be for Ben's vegetable patch, which is going to go along this end here. I've just got my clothes drying there, but it's going to go over here and he's going to have all his herbs in there. Today we are starting on this back side of the fence, so this whole panel will get painted. I think for now we're going to leave this one as it is, but this whole back panel will get painted. So this corner is going to look so much nicer. Hydrangeas are looking great, starting to come out, come out with their colour and these look fabulous as well so ben is going to line these today and plant some herbs so we've currently got a coriander that's going wild this is celery that can stay in the pot a very dead basil so we need to get a new one and the rosemary and we also have a mint plant inside so those are going to get planted in these we know that the mint goes crazy so i think we're just going to do half mint and half rosemary and just let it fill one and then in this one we'll do coriander chives maybe some thyme and then some basil fence is done I love how it looks I think it's so beautiful we've decided we want to get some more lights they just attach onto here and carry on around the garden and it'll look beautiful Ben has also been hard at work he has finished sealing these he's also lined them um, put gravel in the bottom and has put the soil in and we've planted mint and rosemary in this one this is a coriander plant that I had that went absolutely crazy. So he's got coriander in here and chives. And you're also going to put in what? Thyme. Lemon thyme? Yeah. And sage? Yeah. Ben is very kindly taking this door off for me because I've decided I want to paint it the same colour as the fence as well. So I've got lots of paint left over. So is it really heavy? No, it's fine. Where do you want it on the grass? Yeah, I think so. And then I'll have to prop it on something, I think. I'll prop it up. I'll, I'll get maybe yeah. a couple of those cardboard boxes and just prop it on that. Yeah. That would work, wouldn't it? So just, yeah, stick it on the grass for now. Thank you. Well, these are all the chairs, these ones. There's three Bigger of them. Ones. Yeah. There's just three of them. This could be then. My um, the thing, yeah, net. 
A million thoughts a dream Go, go, go for the limit With the power I believe To soak it up like a flower Like a summer field Aching to be healed Just rain on me You blow me into space You gotta to be true to who you are You color me like the rainbow Fill me with your spark Take me from the dark So shine on me You Okay guys, little update Everything is now built We have this here as well And we're just going to arrange it very loosely Because the sky has gone uh, There's still blue sky up there but It's just gone a little bit grey so we're gonna put it all together and see how it looks. They're sturdy, which is good. Yeah, really sturdy. Okay, I think we found our layout. Obviously, the whole thing doesn't look terribly inspiring right now because nothing's dressed. But once we have things on the shelves and the coffee tables all set up and everything, it's gonna look lovely. And then over here, we'll have table and chairs for when we want to eat out here. You are right, that's not a lot of space for a dining table in. <laughs> oh, we'll figure it out. Okay, I have a bit of styling to do. The weather today is absolutely beautiful. It's actually really warm, so I might have to get changed in a bit. Um, but yeah, this is what we're looking like. So I'm gonna prop you up somewhere so you can see what I'm doing and style everything up. Into space, the power of your Lift me up the ceiling how it's going to have to be for now until we can get the covers for the backs but pretty pleased with that it's so comfortable as well looks lovely just a few more to go and we'll be ready
really really hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and i will see you in my next one bye